My special guest today is Lisa Gottlieb. Lisa Gottlieb is known as the e-commerce queen of Denmark, and she's also the creator of Power Ecom Formula. As a marketing expert, entrepreneur, best-selling author, speaker, and coach, Lisa shares her proven strategies with self-motivated, disciplined, hardworking people to help them attain a holistic lifestyle that includes personal and financial independence. Lisa's 43 books, over 300 articles, business coaching, and health and diet products stem from her true life story. After successful sales careers at Oracle and Deloitte Touche, she developed a thyroid disease, which inspired her to write a self-help book on the topic to help others facing health challenges. Her latest works include PowerEcomFormula.com, AwesomePaleoDiet.com, and you can find her at LisaGottlieb.com. Welcome, Lisa. It's so great to have you here. Thank you very much, Heather. So I know that you do more than marketing as well. You have some other interests in health and happiness. So talk to us a little bit about how you really got interested in that. I know I read in the bumper that you had an issue with your thyroid. Yeah. I think that uh, I like to look at it in a more holistic perspective. Yeah. And uh, I think that the basic for all happiness, that is health. Yes. So I'm very interested and concerned about the health because on top of that, we can build the wealth. We cannot do it the other way around. Yes. So I'm very, um, in, uh, uh, you know, it's, it takes a lot of my mind and uh, uh, I'm very occupied with the things that goes around eating well and exercising and sleeping mm -hmm. and your mental stage and all that kind of things. So. That's why I wrote the book Happiness, because this is some small things that everybody can do in their daily life mm -hmm. and actually be more happy. And if you're more happy, you send out better vibes and you get better vibes back and the world becomes a better place. So what are like one or two tips you can give us that, to improve our happiness? Smile. Well, there you go. Done. Check. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's also very easy. You, uh, another thing is Think good thoughts about yourself. Mm -hmm. And if that is difficult, then, you know, there's always somebody that admires you. Mm. It can be your family, your friends or somebody, but they think that you are very special and you can do special things. And they, they are not surprised when you come and tell them that I have done this or that. Yeah. You should sometimes try and switch and become that person and, and try to see how do they see you. Mm. And, and then suddenly you, you get this impression, okay, they will not be surprised because I could do this. Mm. And that confidence that other people have in you, that you can try to put into yourself. Yeah, sort of like borrowed benefits, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And one of the things, one of the things that I've learned to do is that I used to wake up, and some, sometimes still do, wake up kind of down. Like my first initial, my eyes would open, and I'd be like, like just not, like not happy right mm -hmm. when I woke up. And it took me a while to figure this out, but it's, it's the action. And I read this recently where you play your, the movie in your head of what you want your day to be like, and then you pick the first action that you're going to take to make that vision come true. Okay. And that action, yeah. even thinking about that action, yeah. is really empowering. Yeah. And it, it sends like that little burst of excitement. So I think it's, yeah. I agree with what you're saying that it's, there are things that you do yeah. to, to work on being happy. Yeah doesn't just happen like no. some people some people you know have different happiness set points yeah but it's something that we have to cultivate yeah it yeah. is yeah and 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 of course the environment is super important if you are with people that actually depresses you yeah. maybe you're not aware of it but if they always talk badly about others or have a, you know I'm nervous about the future and so on it influences you yeah so it's, it's very important to to be surrounded with people who give you some you can say good vibes and have a positive mindset and uh, and, and if they don't have you can maybe influence them and try to uh, spread out some good but if you feel you keep on going uh, getting back and negative feedback then ch you have to move 